guys, welcome back to this is my world and in last week's video I did part one. So I did my top five favorite Netflix shows. And in this video I'm be doing continuing my top five Netflix shows. So let's get started. Number six we have Dance Academy. I like this show personally because I like to watch like dancing shows, dancing movies and all that. And so in there's three seasons, so in season one I like it how they go like in the back stories behind how they wanted to become a dancer. I'll put it up here. And they wanted to become a dancer. Season two, sadly one of the cast one of the main members passes away. And at the end of that season two, they make this big thing for them to remember them. And it's just really fun to watch. And if you guys go watch it, comment down below how you liked it and tell me if you liked it or not. I don't know. Number seven, I have Vampire Diaries. I know it's like filmed in 2011 and all that, but they're saying that there might be a season nine. I like Vampire Diaries. I've watched it like from the beginning to end five times, I think. I'm not sure, but I recommend go watching it. It's one of my favorite shows, and I like how it's about vampires. I like like mythical creatures and all that. I know they're not like mythical creatures. I like scary stuff. I love to watch scary movies, so that kind of is in like one of my top five best shows to watch. Like when I get bored, if I had nothing else to do, I just bring it up and just watch them. And it's just really fun. It's about three, so these two brothers who are fighting over the skill named Elena. And so the two brothers' name are Stefan and Damon. And they're trying to, like, find the scale named Catherine, who looks like Elena, her double gainer. I can't say the name right. Sorry if I can't say it right. I just can't. But I recommend go watching it. It's really good, and I just love it. So for number eight, you know how I said number seven, The Vampire Days. Well, number eight is called The Originals. And they're, like, the original family for, like, the vampires. The Vampire Days. They're like the OG Vampire Diary, the Vampire, and like that one came out second. So when the Vampire Diaries came out, and then the original came out, but the originals are really good. They go into like more detail about there's one brother who has vampire in him and wolf in him. So they call him a high high bred thing, and he's like one of the powerful like creatures on earth so like say if a normal vampire got bit by a werewolf he can give his blood to the vampire and they can get better and hopefully not die and i just go recommend go watching the originals it's really fun to watch number nine we have gotham i like gotham personally i actually only started watching it like a couple of days ago i'm on season one episode seven it's about, if you're into like DC comic books and like Marvel characters and all that, that's good because this shows you behind like Batman and Robin and like everything, like, like the Joker's in it and Catwoman, they're all in it and it's really fun to watch. I'm not really a big fan of superheroes and all that, but Gotham is like different. I don't know. It's different in some way for me. I just like to watch it with, like, my family. It's a good show to watch with your family. There's five seasons. And they're thinking about doing another season. 